Greetings and salutations. I'm Madison and today I'm going to be sharing with you all of the things that I have been fancying in the month of June. If you are interested in any of the favorites mentioned, I will be leaving the appropriate link for each item down in the description box below. My first song of the month is a classic gospel rock song called Don't Take Everybody to Be Your Friend, released in 1947 by Sister Rosetta Tharp. My dad actually introduced me to this song, and since then I have been slowly working through and listening to more of Sister Rosetta Tharp's work. Sister Rosetta Tharp began singing and playing guitar at age six, and traveled with her mother performing across the South with a gospel troupe. Not only was she a fantastic and dynamic performer, she had to deal with so many people trying to put boundaries on her and try to keep her down, but she persevered and she created so much wonderful music that inspired countless other musicians, including Elvis, Johnny Cash, Chuck Berry, and Little Richard. My second song of the month is Passion Rechner from Kraftwerk's 1981 album Computer Welt. Kraftwerk is a German band, if you couldn't tell, that were pioneers and kind of the founding fathers of electronic music. They built most of their own equipment and developed technology that was way ahead of anyone else in the music industry at that time. Taschenrechner means calculator in German and one of the instruments used to play the song is a small synthesizer that looks just like a calculator. I found a really cool video of the group playing this song live so you actually get to see the synthesizer in action and they actually went down to the front row and let some of the crowd press a few buttons and play around with the various synthesizers which I found to be quite entertaining to watch. I will leave that linked in the description box below as well if you want to uh, see that and see the group in action. Sitting at home, talking to the door. Some old hypocrite has carried your name abroad. My film of the month is the 1941 film Citizen Kane, directed by and starring Orson Welles and accompanied by actresses Ruth Warwick, Dorothy Cummingore. Actor Joseph Cotton, and starring in her first role, actress Agnes Moorhead. The film is about a reporter who tries to find the meaning behind the last words spoken by millionaire newspaper owner Charles Foster Kane. As the reporter digs deeper into Kane's life, he finds Kane to be a man of great victory, power, tragedy, and most frustrating of all, a man of great mystery. Citizen Kane is, by most film critics' standard, a classic film and a must-watch for anyone interested in filmmaking. It did, however, at the time have a lot writing against it ever seeing the light of day. There were arguments with the studio, Orson Welles had several injuries on set, there were many technical issues, but the biggest source of trouble was a man named William Randolph Hearst. William Randolph Hearst was a rather infamous millionaire newspaper owner that was an innovator when it came to creating false news and using sensationalism to manipulate public opinion. Basically, he was not a very nice guy, and he hated Orson Welles and was determined to destroy him and Citizen Kane. 
He accused Wells of being a communist in order to prevent the film from being released. He forbade any advertisements of the film or any other RKO films in any of his newspapers, and he tried to bribe RKO's studio head into giving him the film negatives with the intent of destroying them. Despite all of the publicity and critics from Nonhurst newspapers absolutely raving about how wonderful the film was, Hearst's public opinion machine had done its damage, and the film was a complete box office failure and it would take many years to pass before people began to realize that a true gem had been discarded. He will give you a reward Please don't take everybody to be your friend I said don't, don't take everybody for your friend my book of the month is a science fiction novel called The Time Machine, written by H.G. Wells and published in 1895. The book follows the adventures of an inventor known only to us as the Time Traveler. The Traveler narrates his tale to a group of well-learned collegiate men from various professions and sciences. He tells them of his machine that he had built and what he finds laying in store in the future. The Time Machine was one of the first books to really dabble into the idea of time travel and to conceptualize how that would be done the idea of using a man-made machine that would transport the writer backwards and forwards in time was a very revolutionary idea. Nobody had really thought of that before. I also found H.G. Wells' use of symbolism and his general idea of what the future would look like very interesting. Everyone has their own ideas in regards to what the future will be like and it's fascinating to see someone's ideas of the future from the 1800s and how that varies from someone say in the 1980s and their view of what the future would be like. You just found this in mind that a true friend is hard My craft of the month is this crocheted hat that I have no memory how I made it. It took me about a year, maybe more, to finish it. And since it has been that long, I don't remember really anything about the process. I do like how it turned out. It's very simple, but you can either wear it plain or add a brooch or a bow or a flower, any kind of accessory just to spruce it up a little bit. So it's a very lovely hat. I just wish I could remember how I made it. And now it is time to say a very big thank you to all of the people who donated and supported my channel this month. Your donations and support helped to make this month's videos possible and are helping me to continue to create content in the future. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting my channel, please feel free to check out my coffee page that I have linked down in the description box below. And that is everything I have been fancying for the month of June. I would love to know what you have been fancying this month as well. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, and thank you so much for watching. You just found this in mind.